Maybe. Maybe. You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Hey, what's up guys? Team Demise Andy here, and holy hell, we have a good episode here for you today. Anybody who hates Boruto, um, suck my dick. I don't give a fuck what you say. Uh, I enjoy Boruto, not only because it's laid back, it's deriving a new story when another series would have just cashed in on what they had already started. Um, don't get me wrong, the high points of this series so far kinda have been Sasuke and Naruto, but the story's just getting started, so give it a chance or get the hell out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I love y'all. Anyway though, without further ado, let's jump in to this week's episode of Boruto. Uh, it was titled Mitsuki's Will, and at first I didn't understand where this was going. We had a dude with baton weapons, as you can see here, and he kind of had a jutsu like that reminded me of Kakazu a little bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where that's going, but we also have a girl slash guy, I don't know what it is, I'm not going to assume here, uh, with explosive butterflies, kind of like Conan, just a little bit. And then we had a lightning guy who we literally know nothing else about, besides the fact that it, well, I'll get to that when I get to that. Excuse me. So, uh, this scene, like I said, this episode started off with these three attacking two Chunins. Excuse me, guys. Shouldn't have drunk that little bit of Dr. Pepper before I started. Uh, anyway, they attack the two uh, the Chunins and they go into a coma. They're guarding the village. So, obviously the police force and Sai are on the case. Sai finds a headband, which will come into play later on. Sarda and Boruto are discussing how their mission was cancelled due to all the Jonings being gathered for some secret mission thing. Well, not a secret mission, it was more like a debriefing, I, I think. So, anyway, they find out Mitsuki hasn't shown up, so they're waiting to tell him that, you know, mission's cancelled, blah blah blah. So they decide to go to Mitsuki's home, and they're just kind of like discussing, like, where does Mitsuki live? And they start thinking, they don't know a lot about Mitsuki. They really don't. And we kind of know a little bit more as an audience, but if you got to think of it from Boruto and Sarda's point of view, they don't know he's Orochimaru's son, they don't know he has sage power, they don't know he's a badass, and they don't know all these other like weird little details about his life. So the search for Mitsuki begins, <laughs> and they're going around trying to find everybody, trying to, you know, find what's going on, and... They end up overhearing the briefing and sneaking, they sneak into the like briefing and hear all the Jonings talking, they're like, oh, there's nothing going on here. So they go to the Hokage's office and they start listening and just when they think that uh, they got busted, Tsunade bursts through the door. Tsunade is back, baby, and she's back with a vengeance. Still looks, you know a day over 25, maybe 30. I, I don't want to get into that. I know the fan base loves Tsunade. I like Tsunade. I didn't really like her as much in the Shippuden until kind of like nearish the end where like we kind of got more development behind her a little bit, but you know, it's it was still good. And she's kind of like the Sakura. Like you, you kind of have to like her, but then again... If you look at Jiraiya and Orochimaru, she's kind of the oddball out. Anyway, though, uh, moving on past Tsunade coming back, but they overhear that M Mitsuki is the one missing, and it is his headband that's going. And this comes to shock when Eno does the mind transfer stuff where she sees the vision, which I didn't know she could do that. Apparently, she's always been able to do that. Uh, I was kind of looking back into it, and yeah, I guess she could do that. I thought she could only jump into other people's minds, but I guess it's the same thing, really and truthfully, but, you know, whatever. They find out that Mitsuki was behind the attack, and he left the village in his own free will. Now, this leads to a troublesome conclusion due to the fact that no one in the village besides us, the viewer, Naruto, Sasuke, and K Kakashi knows, and maybe a few others, that Mitsuki is Orochimaru's son. Now, uh, Shik or Shikadai, fuck Shikadai. Shikamaru said it best when he said, 
well, we only allowed Orochimaru to stay under the supervision because we're going to need him to fight the Atsuki clan. Which is understandable, you know, I get that. But it still doesn't explain why, you know, Naruto would have the heart to be like, okay, yeah, we'll let your son live in the village unsupervised, and he can be on the team with my son. So, you know, that's kind of just... Uh, why? But, you know, then again, it's it's understandable. This is for the character development of Mitsuki, which Mitsuki is probably my third favorite character. Maybe second. I, ooh. I don't know. I really like Inogen, but we haven't got to see much of him, so I'll say second. Uh, Shikadai is probably my favorite, just because I love Shikadai. And Boruto's cool, too. I don't care what people say about Boruto. Anyway, though, so they, he, Naruto tells Sonate and the others that Orochimaru's his dad, and shit goes down. Boruto and Sarada didn't even know that. So that was a big kind of conclusion for them. Um, and basically, <laughs> Boruto is under the impression... He's my friend. I don't care what they say. I don't care what the evidence shows. I want to hear it from him like Naruto was back in the day. Although, in this instance, Boruto doesn't rush into it. Because we all know back in the day, Naruto would have literally got the fuck up right then and walked straight the hell out that village until he found Mitsuki. But Boruto kind of planned it out a little bit more. So, you know, we get this little scene with him and Shikadai where, you know, Shikadai tells him don't do anything stupid. And he's like, I'm not, you know, the bullshit. So, Boruto's going to leave out to find Mitsuki, and, well, it doesn't look like he's about to leave out, I shouldn't say. He's not really leaving, but he's, like, on the edge of the village, and he goes out and he sees this snake, and apparently the snake says, Boruto, Boruto, this is Mitsuki, this is my will, or something like that. So, it's obviously, it's one of Mitsuki's snakes, and I don't know if this is a ruse or if this is actually going to play into his development. I'm not sure. I really don't know. Because we have been getting a little bit, like, bits and pieces of Mitsuki everywhere in the story so far. And I really, really want to see where this is going. But anyway, guys. So, we move past that and the snake and whatever. And he goes back to his house and he's got Mitsuki's headband. And he heads out of the village. He's on his way out and he meets Sarada. And Sarada basically tells him, yeah, I'm going with you. Because, <laughs> you know, Sarad is not fucking Sakura. We don't want to do that shit all over again. So instead of her being like, you can't leave, bring Mitsuki back, please, blah, blah, blah. She's going with him to fuck shit up and cause some damage. So right now they're on their way to Orochimaru's hideout to find out if this is really one of Mitsuki's snakes or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so... <laughs> this is Mitsuki's will. This episode was insane. I do believe this could be the start of the new Akatsuki. Uh, maybe. I don't know if they're that powerful, but it would understand why they want Mitsuki, because obviously the original Akatsuki went after Orochimaru, so the new Akatsuki go after his son, blah, 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 whatever. <sighs> The only thing I'm thinking here is if this is the Akatsuki, this could get weird. I hope it's a different kind of organization, but maybe they were like, they're under the same beliefs as like pain or something. I don't know. I just think this is going to be really, really fun. And I know this was a longer review for you all today. I know you all enjoy those better. Normally, I don't really have a lot to talk about, but this episode... Fire as hell. Tsunade comes back. We possibly have the new Akatsuki. One of my favorite characters is getting an arc of their own, Mitsuki. Boruto is starting to shape up. Sarad is obviously not Sakura. What else can you want? We got Sai, Shikadai, Shikamaru, Inogen. We got Inogen in this episode. That's why I like it so much. Anyway, though, guys, I'm just ranting at this point. If you like what I'm trying to do here on this channel, or you just want to support me in any way you can, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love comments. Likes help out a lot. And if you subscribe, you get more of me, and it helps me grow. So, please do that. Anyway, though, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.